Welcome back, Blade Gang. This old sword is with you once again. And today is a day dedicated to only Bastinelli. And only Bastinelli folders. The four that I have. Because the rest are all fixed blades and I got more fixed blades than folders. And you've probably seen most, if not all, of them. So Bastinelli certainly makes more than just fixed blade knives. He makes some exquisite, well-designed, incredible, tactical art folders. What you see before you here is the first of four that I'm going to show you today. We've got one trying to peek in from the corner. That is the gecko. That is a mean, pointy tanto very specialized and most bastinelli knives you can see will have a very fine file like jimping sometimes in more than just one spot this one also has some incredible natural micarta on one side black g10 spacer deep carry clip of steel Titanium frame lock folder on the other side. Hardened steel insert. And N690 steel. As are many of the knives that are coming out of Italy until recently, where he moved up to M390 and LMAX. Lanyard hole. Clip is not switchable. Beautiful ergonomics. You get that curved handle that might make you think that the point would go up or down, but it is simply dead center and you can rest your thumb comfortably on that thumb rest. You can also reach out a little bit if you wish. It comes through blazing sharp with a beautiful stone wash on the blade beautiful stone wash on the titanium handle nice action you gotta give it a little extra oomph because this has been doubly designed to be a pocket opener designed by Bram Frank you just gotta get your hand out of the way and keep it moving if you do it that way so certainly you could roll it out here but there you've got a pretty proud high flipper. No jimping on it, but easy to light switch. You just got to follow through. Easily failed. But again, it is tuned so that it will open on the pocket. And as far as that tuning goes, I have to thank Bob DeMarco for pointing that out. I loaned this knife to him to do a review. He did a great review on it, loved it, and can't say enough about the ergos on this knife. If you choose to go point down, it is deadly. Look at that. Just a real piercer. And that is the Bastinelli Gecko. It's not spelled like the lizard, but slightly differently. You'll see that in the notes. I'll put links for all these knives. They should all be available in the uh, notes of this video with links to buy should you want to do that. Now here's one that is a collaboration between Bastion Cove and Doug Markaita. Bastion Cove, of course, is the owner of Bastinelli Knives. And this is the... Mako. So this is the Mako folder and a very interesting knife. Almost has a Mako-like fin there for a blade, wouldn't you say? This also has the Bram Frank opening method, a little more pronounced, and it does have jimping on both sides of that. So you have uh, jimping to open it with and you have jimping for a thumb ramp smaller knife and you may or may not like the ring the ring can certainly be used as in karambit fashion 
but with the belly out. At the same time, this is an excellent working knife. Great little EDC. Um, fairly short blade on this guy of about uh, two and three quarter inches, maybe a little less. Blade on the get go, by the way, three and a half inches. In case you wanted to know, individual reviews on each of these out on my channel, however. Wire clip and as deep carry as you're going to go on most karambit style ring knives. Gives you that ring to pull on to take it quickly out of the pocket. The clip is transferable to the, right now it's on the left side of the knife, the reason being that I like to carry it this way and open it on the front of the pocket so as it comes out I am able to hold it with the ring in the karambit fashion. You can choose any one of a number of different ways to carry this knife. Therefore, it is an ambidextrous pocket clip and ambidextrous opening since everything is centrally located. Whether you choose to roll it out with the finger or brush that on any body part, I've stuck myself good with this knife in the palm, so you do need to be careful if you're using like your finger or something that you keep moving because as that detent breaks, and it's a fairly firm detent, you don't want to stick yourself with that knife. That will happen, guaranteed. If you choose to hold it in a point up, edge out, you've got a beautiful swale there for the thumb with a jimping in the frame. That should show up there. right in there so we got that jimping is not showing up real well on the camera we've got uh, jimping down here on the liner release and it's simply a very handy little knife mainly designed for pocket open wave opening again hold it that way hold it this way without the ring hold it with the ring Hold it, point up, edge out with the pinky in the ring. Your choice. You can use it or no. Moving on. And I'm saving the big boy for last, and you may know which one that is. This one is the Shadow Flipper. A fairly unknown Bastinelli folder. Of course, there's the Bastinelli Alpha, which has gotten a lot of press. That was a co-design with um, Mastro, Fred Mastro knife systems, combat systems. This knife, I'll show you this, made by Fox. By the way, both of the previous knives are made by Fox. Comes in this beautiful Italian leather pouch. Right, no ballistic nylon for us here. And that's kind of the quality that this knife is. It is a flipper and it has a mean blade like a major sheep's foot sort of thing going on but starts way back here and drops down. I'm not sure I'd call it a Warncliffe. You could call it a drop point, spear point, whatever you wish. Highly unusual blade design however and a long run of file-like jimping. Look how fine that jimping is all the way out there. So if you want to get all your thumb on that ramp, you can. If you want to choke back a little bit and hold it in a saber grip, you can. We got that same kind of drop handle here that we have a little bit of going on with the gecko, as you can see. So the Shadow Flipper is Carbon fiber on one side, beautiful carbon fiber, nicely milled and sculpted and ergonomically fitted. Once again, this is just like grabbing a piece of clay and having it mold to your hand. It is so perfect. That hump in the back goes into the palm, the hollow of your palm. You can hold it way back here if you wish. You can hold it here. 
you can hold it square you can hold it in reverse grip point down very nicely and a beautiful place for your thumb to cap it with that point at a nice right angle to the forearm which is how we like to use it we got a fuller you can use the fuller to open it no problem of course you can use the flipper and it's nicely tuned it's a long swing and with a little effort yes you can fail it but it is not that easy to fail it's a fairly strong detent and got a nice little ramp to end up on there at the finish of the flip lanyard hole almost a deep carry clip I think so far Gek only the gecko has the uh, deep carry clip very deep relief there for the lock bar hardened steel inserts of course nice guard that that flipper turns into and um, flipper not that bad I mean it's nicely rounded over there is no jimping on it but light switches perfectly but if you don't like using the flipper again you can I did it once didn't I <laughs> you can use that fuller nice stone wash on the blade and oh yes by the way this is an Elmax nice high-end steel Maniaggio Italy by Fox great EDC or tactical defensive knife perfect size we've got about a little over a three and a half inch blade going here yeah well over like a three point uh, almost a three point nine I'd call that three point eight five at least somebody got me once for being so specific on the lengths but I know some of you guys uh, want to know exactly all right, drum roll, please, for the big daddy of them all, the big Drago Tech 2022. This is a humongous knife, and so that you're not distracted, we're going to take everything else out of the frame. And there it is in all its glory. Notice a lot of the same features, that same dropped curved crescent handle shape however it doesn't force you to hold it in any one position first let's get this out of the way overall 10 and 3 quarter inches to the glass breaker 4.6 inch blade it's humongous only the cold steel knives are bigger than this Look at that beautiful uh, thumb disc. And that scalloping, that gear-like pattern around the thumb disc allows it to catch on the pants. And yes, you guessed it, wave open. All you have to do is just twist it a little bit to the outside as you're pulling out of your pocket. And it'll just flick right out. This has such a resounding, great sound and feel when it opens and I believe you can shake it open there it goes and get it all in the frame but definitely you can shake it open still however it's got a nice detent and it is totally drop shut that big heavy blade M390 on this one only Bastinelli's mark on the blade Everything else is inside the handle, and it took me a while to find that out. There it is. So this is by Lion Steel, Italy, M390. Way up in the underside of the backspacer. And it's a full-length backspacer of um, either carbon fiber or G10. Well, this is G10. So this is, yeah, this is G10, so the backspacer is G10. And this is new for 2022 with this uh, diamond pattern texture. 
as well as this being new, as well as the steel being new, and a couple other little enhancements. You've got all of these scallops and grooves going on this knife. The thumb can go there, and this rests in the palm, and therefore you've got that amazing amount of extension. You can choke up to here, or you can walk your thumb way out there if you want. Nice jimping both back here and ahead of the thumb disc. That is the big, and I mean big, drag attack. As you bring him back out, see if you can see some of the similarities, even across the sizes and the subtle differences in profile. Arrange them in order of size here. There we go. So that's the Bastinelli folder collection, Big Drago Tack, Shadow Flipper, Gecko, and Mako Folder. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. I'll be back with you soon.